Hey, if you live in Florida, listen up. Listen really close. It's the Disaster Preparedness 2021 tax break. Now, what is that? If you're new to the area and everything else, that's where the local government here gives you a tax break starting on Friday, May 28th and running through June 6th to buy any of your hurricane preparedness products, your big ticket items, your generators, your lights, flashlights, your batteries, your weather radios, tarps, bungee cord, rope, all these different types of things, gas cans, the jerry cans that you can use for water. A lot of your camping gear falls under this criteria. Now you can go online and you can search out and you can find out exactly what is all covered under this. There is a ton of stuff. So you can save yourself a lot of money if you're just starting to prep for hurricanes, you're new to the area or whatever, or if you're looking to buy that big ticket item like that generator. So if the power goes out, well, you're, you can run your refrigerator, you can run some fans, some lights, depending on what size you do buy. They do cap a lot of this stuff at a certain dollar amount, so you want to pay close attention to that. You also want to make sure if you're getting a generator, you're going to need gas cans, but those are also on the tax-free list. So pick yourself up some good gas cans and make sure that you know you keep them sealed up. Make sure that you don't storm in an unsafe area, don't storm inside of your home. Make sure you storm in your garage, a shed, something like that, and make sure that you're buying good quality gas cans. And don't store too much, unless you really know what you're doing with gas, because if you store too much gas, that can turn out to be a bad thing. Make sure that you're really checking this out because you can save a lot of money. And here's what you can do with the money that you're saving. Say you're buying yourself that nice big generator that you've been looking at. Well, you know what? You're going to save a lot of money on the tax side. So take that money that you saved on the tax side and go and walk over and put it into the food part. Make sure you're stocking up on your canned goods, your dry goods, water, everything else. Use the money you saved to put towards your food supply that you may need. Now, I would try to strive, you know, the, the government says a three-day supply of food and water, which I would not go by, folks, but hey, you all do what you want to do, all right? We know how history has played out and how long it's taken FEMA and everybody else to get into an area to get you all set up to feed you, to take care of you, medical and everything else, so you need to be prepared. I would suggest you want to strive for a no less than a two week supply of food, water, and emergency equipment. This way here, by that time, they will be in, they will be set up if it is that bad of a storm. And this way here, you have bought yourself the time that you need for you and your family. Nothing like playing Russian roulette. Okay. You don't want to go there. These storms can come in, they can be really bad, and then they go out. But it takes time for them to get back in, FEMA, the government, and everybody else, because if it has been a really bad hurricane, they have to clean the roads, the power lines, and all this stuff out of the way so they can get their equipment in and get it set up and running so they can start taking care of the people. It takes time. It isn't going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a day or two. All right. Especially if you live in a outskirts of town or in a small town somewhere. Now, something else that you really want to pay close attention to. Bermuda High this year is supposed to be pulling away from the East Coast, whereas in the last couple of years, it has been closer to the East Coast which is going to put the Northeast right down through the whole East Coast and Florida more in the crosshairs this year. Now, I've been reading different articles from different scientists and everything else. I've watched a couple of videos on the hurricane guidance, if you want to call it, for this year. 
and they're all saying that the Bermuda High is going to pull away, which will allow more storms to come closer to us instead of being pushed over into the Gulf and going into Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, like they have been over the last couple of years. Like Florida last year, we didn't get nothing. We got brazed by one little storm, and that was, that was nothing. I mean, we get thunderstorms that were worse than that. So this could be our year. We don't know what the future holds. We don't have a crystal ball, so you need to be prepared. Make sure that you're going through everything right now. Make sure that you're making a list, what you're going to need, what you may want to pick up, what you may want to add, and everything else to your hurricane preparedness because you're going to save yourself some money. So if you're looking to do any type of big ticket items, um, battery banks, you can get those. They are capped at a certain dollar amount. Generators are capped at a certain dollar amount. Everything's capped at a certain dollar amount. So you want to make sure that you're going in and paying attention to what your dollar amount is for those particular products. This way here, you don't get a surprise shock when you don't get the tax free because you picked the wrong product. You went over the dollar limit and they do pay close attention to that folks. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and here we thrive to survive. So you want to make sure that you're getting out, getting your list together, going through all your products. You have two days until the sales start. So make sure that you're being really diligent in what you're doing right now, because you can save yourself some money, roll that into your food products, and the next thing you know, folks, you're good to go, you're prepped, you're ready, you can weather the storm. So like I said, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Make sure that you're getting out there and doing what you have to do. Let's thrive to survive people. We are in control of our own destiny. Take the bulls by the horn and go out there and get your shopping done. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.